Um, uh, the experiment is actually a clinical trial. It's called a phase one clinical trial where we'd be testing the safety and feasibility of administering umbilical cord blood derived cells to patients with serious COVID-19. These are patients who are in the hospital and we believe that our umbilical cord blood cells will modulate the uh, excessive immune response which occurs in some patients and the inflammation which occurs in the lungs. These cells have been used clinically for over 30 years in other applications, but this is a world first trial of their use in COVID-19 where we think mm. that it will protect the, these uh, patients. Okay, well just on that, how What's behind that? What's behind, you know, your expectation that it could work against a respiratory illness? Um, uh, we and others have performed uh, many uh, research studies, both what we call preclinical uh, studies and clinical studies, uh, to show that these, uh, the multiple cell types which are present in umbilical cord blood, which is derived from the umbilical cord at the time of birth, after the baby has been delivered, uh, do have these immunomodulatory and anti-inflammatory uh, effects. And so we believe that uh, we've shown it in the lung, uh, we've shown it in the brain, uh, we believe that this will also be the same case in the lung, uh, which is what is mainly affected in this COVID-19 infection. You seem pretty confident, Professor, that it, that it, could, it could work. So. Uh... Go ahead. Yep, we're very, we're very excited about this uh, uh, because uh, these umbilical cord blood uh, cells, uh, we can expand uh, the number of cells, increase the number of cells with a new technology that we've developed. Um, and uh, this technology has been used overseas, is now uh, going to be developed in collaboration with Cell Care Australia, Australia's largest cord blood bank, uh, who have been very helpful in uh, assisting us into, in developing this trial. And so we, we think that this will be successful. If it's successful in our phase one trial, if we're able to show that it's safe uh, and feasible, uh, this trial could be expanded around the world uh, to treat patients with COVID-19 infections. So could this be a cure for COVID-19? No, it's not, it's not designed as a cure. Uh, it's not like having uh, um, a, an injection which could prevent you getting uh, the disease, but it'll prevent the disease uh, becoming worse. What happens with these patients, uh, in some patients uh, where they get critically ill with what's called COVID-19 pneumonia, they are admitted to intensive care unit. Uh, and these intensive care units around the world are, are um, overused and uh, flooded with patients. We want to try and prevent the disease getting that serious mm. so that they don't have to be moved to intensive care. So what it does is, is you know, it, it builds a wall in, in your system, does it? And it stops it from getting worse and then your body can begin its natural process of recovery. Is that, uh, is that what That's you're saying? Exa That's exactly right. Uh, you've uh, hit the uh, nail on the head in that... Uh, if we can stop this uh, um, disease uh, getting much worse in these seriously ill patients, the body then can then uh, start to recover and take over these roles, mm. which are normally um, happen in uh, patients could, who don't get the serious disease. Could you not, I mean, and I am clearly no expert, uh, Professor, but, but could you not um, increase the amount of, of, of those blood cells in a healthy person and, and that could in turn prevent you from getting COVID-19? No, that, that's not possible. Uh, these uh, cells are obtained from the umbilical cord of a baby um, at the time of delivery. And they're very special cells. They're what we call immature cells because the baby is immature at that stage. Uh, and those cells very quickly disappear. So they're not present in an adult. Uh, in fact, they're lost from the baby very, very quickly. And it's these cells that we obtain that we actually increase in numbers using this expansion technology that we're doing with cell care Australia uh, and it's these cells that we can then store we can freeze them down as you uh, we saw in your video uh, and save them and then distribute them to patients who are seriously ill. So just run me through the timings uh, moving forward from here professor. Yes we hope to uh, start this trial uh, in the next few weeks. We just have to be able now to uh, increase the number of cells that we've shown uh, that we can uh, uh, expand and expand in numbers. Uh, and so we'll be treating 25 patients in our um, 
initial trial, which is a phase one trial. Once we've shown that they're safe and efficacious, uh, then we can treat a much larger cohort in uh, uh, an international uh, trial. So what, maybe next year? Oh, yes, mm. uh, we hope, we hope mm. uh, by early next year we'll be treating patients around the world in a, a multiple centre trial.